Hey, Jillian Kinsey, welcome to Screamfest. Thank you so much. I'm really glad to be here. How are you doing this evening? Good? I'm having a great night. I love Screamfest, and I'm part of Give Me an A, which is an amazing film by amazing women. And so it's just kind of an incredible experience all around. Looking forward to screening it. I understand it's an anthology. Which segment are you? Which part? What part of it? I am part of Medieval, which is directed by Monica Moore Siriagi, who is a dear friend of mine since we were in high school. So very cool that we got to work together on this project. What can you tease us about Medieval? Medieval uses a metaphor to talk about women's worth and uh, there are themes of bees and honeycomb and that's all I'll say. Now, <laughs> the overall synopsis is about outrage concerning what happened politically in our country, right? Correct. Roe v. Wade. Um, what are your general thoughts on that and are we going to be able to reverse that in anytime soon? I hope so. I mean, it's certainly inspiring to have a woman in the White House. That's helpful. That's promising. But there's a lot of work left to be done, as we found out this summer. And, you know, being part of this project uh, in a summer where so many women felt like our voice was taken away has been really incredible. Um, to look around on set and to see all women behind the camera, in front of the camera, female writers, producers, it's its really cool. Uh, and I, I hope to see more of that in the future because that's how change happens. Abital, congratulations and welcome Thank to Screenfest. You. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, Thrilled to be here. I understand that Give Me an A is an anthology. Which yes. anthology are you part of? Uh, mine is called God's Plan. It's somewhere in the middle of the whole thing. And um, you wrote, directed, and started it? That's right. How do you wear those multiple hats? <laughs> um, I was very tired leading up to and afterward, but it, but it was really fun. Also, Monique, who's over there right now, is really the star of the thing I'm supporting. So she, she did a lot of carrying. Um, and yeah, I've done it before. So uh, I kind of like doing all of the things. For my fans at home, tease us what, it, what the story is about. Um, you know the, the news story of a woman in Plano, Texas? I think it was Plano. My brain, of course, now is completely no pretty sure it's Plano, Texas, who got pulled over for using the carpool lane, um, and she argued that she was pregnant. Yeah. So it's inspired by that, and then it kind of takes some fun turns. But uh, but a woman and a cop, a pregnant woman and a and a, uh, a cop who pulls her over, kind of having it out about whether or not she should be ticketed okay, so for using the carpool lane. Inspired by that. Yes. Okay. Very much inspired by that. Yeah. Now, uh, what are the challenges of uh, indie film female filmmakers these days? Uh, I think probably the same challenges as for male filmmakers, except it's harder, just a little harder to get money and harder to get people to believe in you, which is where someone like Tasha Halevi, who produced the whole thing, is instrumental because she's uh, really a champion of women and like made the whole thing happen. And, um, but, you know, it's hard budgetarily and the time constraints, which were made things harder, but also were a total blessing because you can't be a perfectionist about it. You're like, all right, I got to write this thing now and shoot this thing now and edit this thing now. Whereas, you know, it can be easy to like nitpick everything and try to make it perfect. And I mean, hopefully it's good anyway, but, but I, there, it, there was um, less possibility to just be a perfectionist about it and hold myself back. It's just like, do it and get it done. <laughs> That's it. Natasha, welcome to Screamfest. Thank you. Yeah, so this is an anthology. Give me yes. an A. Tell my fans, which anthology are you in? Um, I'm the creator of the whole film. So I'm the creator and executive producer of um, Give Me an A. Um, and so I brought all these teams together to make this project um, and brought all these actors together to make this project. Was it always the plan to be this ambitious? Um, yes and no. Um, I always wanted to make sure we would make something that could um, screen in a place that mattered and wouldn't just get lost. Um, but making something this size, even if it's not the biggest thing you've ever seen, making something this size in this amount of time was um, far more ambitious than I realized. But we did it. We did it. That's the <laughs> premiere. Yeah. We did it. Here we are. Before I let you go, this is a very heavy topic. Uh, what, do, what are the steps to reversing the Roe v. Wade cancellation? Yeah, I mean, like, the first thing that we need to do, and the reason we were we made this so urgent, is um, we have to be in a position where we can uh, codify the laws that protect women's reproductive rights. So um, right now we, you know, we've been living off of a Supreme Court ruling for many, many years, and that set a precedent saying that the federal government would protect women's reproductive rights. Now that precedent has been overruled and doesn't exist, and so states can make laws however they want. This is a very bad thing because it creates borders within the United States. You know, you have to now cross a border into New York 
to get an abortion. You have to cross a border, a border into Illinois, cross a border into California. That's pretty dangerous as a country and dangerous for our democracy. So we need to get back to a place where we can codify laws that protect women's reproductive rights. And the way we do that now is to vote and get the right people into the House of Representatives and into Congress that can actually create laws through a bill instead of waiting on a Supreme Court decision and get that codified into law, make women's rights a part of the law, make women's reproductive rights a part of the law, and take it beyond that and protect all the people that need protecting right now. So that's that's where we are. That's why we're screening this now. That's why we did it fast so we could get it out there before midterms. Encourage everyone to go vote. Um, and yeah, that's like, that's everything we're doing. Yeah. You're my support. Thank you. Thank you so